formulating the proposed innovation, intervention, and strategy. An original idea of solving the classroom challenges faced by educators is a great contribution to the field of knowledge and the improvement of educational practices. A contribution formulated out of a series of discoveries that solved one's problem might be a solution to system-wide and long-endured challenges. It might be an innovation, intervention, or strategy. In this section, the researcher will discuss the solution in a form of innovation, intervention, and slash or strategy as an original idea of solving the problem at hand. This part presents the defining characteristics and slash or features of the proposed intervention slash innovation slash strategy. What are the required features in formulating this section? This section shall be discussed comprehensively in the research proposal. The discussion shall include the following features. 1. Description slash overview. 2. Persons slash parties involved. 3. Activities slash phases slash components, A slash P slash C. 4. Extent slash limitations slash duration. 5. Basis for the intervention, and 6. Plausibility of the intervention. Examples of the required features of the proposed innovation, intervention, and strategy. Description slash overview. Generally, this subsection discusses the definition of the innovation slash intervention slash strategy. Terminologies, concepts, and theories deliberately considered in constructing the unique and original name of the innovation slash intervention slash strategy shall be defined with in-text citations. An example of this feature can be seen in sample 1. It answers the question what is your intervention? Persons slash parties involved. People who played significant contribution slash s in the implementation of the innovation slash intervention slash strategy shall be listed in this section. Their roles and responsibilities in the process shall be discussed objectively. Interventionist, teacher researcher, recipient, participants slash respondents, and support parties, research assistants, sponsors, donors, and the like. This feature is very important for the persons involved in the study to function effectively and efficiently, see Sample 2. Activities slash phases slash components, A slash P slash C. A detailed discussion of the series of activities in the implementation of the intervention slash innovation slash strategy shall be discussed in this part. It is suggested that the activities shall be discussed chronologically and comprehensively from the start until the end of the implementation. This researcher might organize the activities by phase with specific components. The general phases of the activities such as pre-implementation, implementation slash intervention, and post-implementation, see sample 3, shall be discussed in the paper. However, in this section, it is suggested that the researcher slash author shall organize the activities in phases slash stages to explain comprehensively the components of the unique and original intervention slash innovation slash strategy, see figure 1. Figure 1. Stages of activities in the implementation of the intervention. Extent slash limitation slash duration. In this subsection, the researcher shall provide a specific time frame for the conduct of the intervention. It should be discussed with a specific date and duration, see sample 4. For instance, the timeline shall be for one quarter, once a week. It shall be stated with a particular date such as January to April 2022. When the intervention is organized by phases, there should be a specific date for the conduct of all the phases. In addition, the extent and limitation of the study shall be discussed by specifying the characteristics of the participants, the context of the study, and other considerations in conducting the study. It shall also discuss the competency or variable where the intervention will be applied in a certain context.
Bases for the intervention Ideally, an intervention slash innovation slash strategy conceptualized for implementation will be based on theories and concepts, see sample 5. For instance, constructivism, theory of motivation, zone of proximal development, etc. Theoretical and conceptual literature cited shall be discussed with in-text citations. The discussion should include the application of the theories and concepts in the study. These shall serve as the conceptual or theoretical framework in the formulation of the innovation slash intervention slash strategy. Several theories slash concepts can be integrated for this purpose. Plausibility of the intervention The possibility that the intervention might be effective based on the results of the study slash IES utilizing a similar intervention, see sample 6. For example, the findings of actual experimental studies with the same slash similar intervention conducted by other researchers. In some cases, the basis of the plausibility of the intervention slash innovation slash strategy is the findings of scholars employing similar concepts applied in the formulation of the intervention. Concepts applied in the study on the same variable slash s such as learning motivation, mental health, and academic performance. The findings of the study with similar concepts to that of the proposed study shall be cited with in-text citation slash s to support the plausibility of the proposed intervention and slash or the assumed effect of the intervention. Here is the complete sample of this section. The proponent can exercise their creativity in the organization of this section. As an example, here is one of the creative ways of formulating this section of the action research proposal. The proponent started this section from the description and slash or definition of the intervention slash innovation slash strategy, followed by the following subsections. Discussion of the conceptual or theoretical support of the intervention This is the continuation of the discussion of the conceptual or theoretical support of the intervention. This is the discussion of the extent slash limitation slash duration of the intervention. Discussion of the phases of conducting the intervention Note, the details of this section were presented in the appendices. Here is the appendix F containing the features of the intervention. Then, the discussion on the persons slash parties involved in the study. Lastly, the discussion of the plausibility of the intervention. <laughs>